great part of my lifetime in theater, and I, I feel I owe the theater um, everything. M my mother told the story that, uh, and I was thinking about it last week, I was in Los Angeles and Julian Sands' daughter was in a production of an American play called The Our Town, quite, quite a great play by Thornton Wilder. And that was the first play I saw when I was in second grade at a school gymnasium in my little hometown of Benton, Illinois. And uh, my mother, I don't really remember it, perhaps I'm still too upset about it, but um, my mother says that I was so upset after I came home from watching that play that I stayed behind the sofa for two days <laughs> without coming out. And uh, I, I fear the theater still has that effect on me. Um, sometimes when I watch a very good play and sometimes when I watch a very bad play. Um, <laughs> because there is certainly nothing more miserable than that. Um, <laughs> I will just give this address first, uh, which is very brief. I just want to say I'm honored to have been asked by the International Theatre Institute at UNESCO to give this greeting commemorating the 50th anniversary of World Theatre Day. I will address my brief remarks to my fellow theatre workers, peers, and comrades. May your work be compelling and original. May it be profound, touching, contemplative, and unique. May it help us to reflect on the question of what it means to be human. And may that reflection be blessed with heart, sincerity, candor, and grace. May you overcome adversity, censorship, poverty, and nihilism as many of you will most certainly be obliged to do. May you be blessed with the talent and rigor to teach us about the beating of the human heart in all its complexity and the humility and curiosity to make it your life's work. And may the best of you, for it will only be the best of you, and even then only in the rarest and briefest moments, succeed in framing that most basic of questions, how do we live? Godspeed. Thank you.